for 16 years now. 16 years. Mostly it's chlorine that I smell. Residents of Nazco First Nation have been unable to drink their water. It's got chlorine and the black stuff that's floating around in there. And who knows what's all in there. The problem, unacceptably high levels of arsenic and manganese in the groundwater make it not just a boil water advisory, they can't consume it at all. They were telling us that we couldn't even brush our teeth with it, our tap water. Elder Monica Paul fears for people's health. I really do worry about the children. Why? In their future. They need clean water. To get that, it's got to come in bottles, trucked to every house every week. But here's the astounding thing about Nazco's water troubles. A few years back, the federal government promised to fix. In fact, it built this state-of-the-art $3.6 million water treatment plant. But folks here still can't drink their water. The problem's legion. NASCO's long-suffering water operator, Jerry Laurent, who isn't certified yet to run something this advanced, has run into one breakdown after another. We thought it was going to lift the drinking ban right away. But the chlorine system malfunctioned, filters broke, the backup generator failed. Every time he reports another snafu. This could have been avoided. Parts and repairs take ages as it works through layers of bureaucracy. An unfortunately common scenario with First Nations water systems, says this professor of public health. When you have this sort of complex tri-departmental structure for managing and governing water, you're going to run into issues of communication, um, overlap of roles and responsibilities, and just ambiguity of what each other's roles are. So Nazco residents gaze upon the shiny new treatment plant. Well, year after year, test after test, says the same thing. Do not consume the water. Why are we stuck with crappy water? People just don't give a rat's ass because it's natives. And as soon as they find out, it's oh, it's for the natives, they do a slack ass job. The Department of Aboriginal Affairs is confident the plant will be operational soon, but bounces other questions to Nazco First Nation, which pays thousands of dollars a month for bottled water as residents wait just to drink from their tap. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Nazco, First Nation.